How's it going, guys? Uh, housekeeping. It's going to be a two pipe setting. I got the OMS poker. Going to put in some work. And of course, the uh, GW Cop. Going to pair some Burley Flake number three with this Guinness uh, draft. Y'all know that tune. All right, guys. I, I want to fill everybody in on what's been going on. Oh. Got a little fire going there. Just did the yard. Uh, my, my wife had a stroke. So we set the laundromat. Just got a bunch of the uh, all of our clothes from the flood. Finally got them out of storage and we was going to do them all at one time. Uh, had the whole place to herself. We was uh, putting in work. And Marsha started uh, kind of acting funny. You know, she's she's my right hand man. She works just as hard as I do, if, if not more. And um, we just got the first batch. Of, uh, clothes out of the dryer and um, started acting weird um, Kevin Sue Dunhill's husband got me hooked on them um, sorry James uh, I, I decided to go with something a little bitter instead of the uh, the good old Texas normal. So whenever she started acting weird, we for a while there when she'd have these spells, it's been going on for few months now uh, I just run across the street from the laundromat went to Taco Bell and got her some veggie burritos she, she really don't eat meat and um I got her two veggie burritos. They're they're big boys, you know. Um, you know, Marsha ain't a, a small gal, and she ate both of them. Then uh, started folding clothes. Like I said, pretty much had the whole laundry mat book. I think we spent $160 getting all of her clothes uh, washed up, and uh, they. I was pulling clothes out of, out of the machines to the right. We had the whole row and then it broke up with some dryers. And uh, I turned and looked at her and she, she had like a weird look in her eye. And she said something to me and it was just like, it wasn't intelligible. You, you know, it was just like garble and, and break me the fuck out to sorry I don't have any words for it but it, it just break me the fuck out I w went over there to her and I was like uh, let's get to the car and I was I had her hands and was like guiding out the the uh, laundromat and uh, right next to the laundromat is the uh, EMT they got all the ambulances and stuff there. Uh, 
Dale Wattage from Mike Tyson. Everybody's got a plan till they get punched in the fucking mouth. Well, I got punched. I should have just put her in the chair and run over there and told her, told them my wife's having a stroke or something's going on. I, I, I seen my daddy have a stroke before when we was fishing in the boat. It was pretty much the same symptoms and how she was acting. But I didn't do it, and I, I got her to the car and turned the air conditioner on, and I just started pulling shit out of the, the washing machine, throwing them in bags that is wet, and uh, just pulling stuff out. Well, I come out, and she had the door open, and I was like, why do you got the door open? And, you know, I'm trying to keep her cool. And she says, I, I feel like I got to throw up. I can feel my heart beat in my throat. And I was like, uh, I run in and told the attendant there and, and they know as well they know marcia she used to drive for the uh, special uh special needs bus and uh knows the family who owns the laundromat well she said I, I don't don't worry about anything just get her home we probably want to go to the hospital and i i said she won't go right now marcia was just telling me i i just need to go lay down well, I put her in bed. I, I, I mean, I, I brought her home, put her in the bathtub. I don't know what that was, popping in the fire. Um, I told her to stay there. I'll be right back. Run to the laundromat. She had some of the clothes already pulled out, bagged up, and uh, some of the stuff that was in the dryer. She, uh, like I said, we had pretty much the whole, whole laundromat uh, to herself. Uh, got everything loaded up, come back, got her put in bed. I kept checking on her and whenever she had talked to me, it'd be, sometimes it would be uh, like slurred, but sometimes it would just be intelligible. She'd just be like garbling, saying stuff out. And she's looking at my face, uh, knowing that I'm, I'm freaked out. But she's dump headed next morning. That's why this is going to be a two type uh, session. Next morning, I run back to the laundry mat for the doctor's office open and uh, got the clothes dried. <laughs> Ended up being uh, somebody else's clothes. <laughs> I started folding them. Um, whatever I got back and I was like what are all these little clothes and it, they wasn't even our clothes uh, a couple of bags of them I bought them back up there whenever we took it to the doctor uh, we got to the doctor right here in Vider and uh, told her what was going on she said you need to go to the emergency room right now and took her to the emergency room she, they did the uh, some tests that said she, she had a stroke. Got her. We, we wasn't in the uh, emergency room probably an hour and then got transferred upstairs and was there for five days. Uh, they run all kind of tests on her and stuff. And right there, yeah. Third day, she started kind of acting normal and, and talking and I hadn't ate nothing. I was just freaked out what Jenny husband would be or uh, anybody that cares about the person that they're attending. And uh, every day uh, in the morning I'd come home, let the puppies out and, and, and feed them and feed the cat. Uh, go back up there and just sit and they just run test after test and uh, she got released we uh, we come home and she was acting kind of normal uh, come minute we come home she just sat down in the yard and did her grounding if anybody knows anything about that uh, and just 
just sit there and cry. And, uh, I went in, whooped something up, packed me a pipe, and tried to be as normal as I could. Uh, that was Friday. Uh, we we got in late, went to the pharmacy. That was already closed to get our blood pressure medicine. The next day we went over to her uh, her cousin's house where she had some blood pressure medicine, and uh, they was doing a crawfish bowl, and I just hung out with. Uh, with Bubba and uh, Darlene. Darlene was shooting, she got her new BB gun. Bubba likes to talk about the uh, uh, Titanic in, in ships. Uh, they were both special needs and really uh, had an aura about them, you know, when it's a healing aura. First time that I'd been able to disassociate myself from what was going on and just people kind of he would tell me stories about the tie tank from the time that it was built uh, swinging on the rope yeah y'all seen the videos of him swinging on the rope and uh talking to me the whole time it's kind of like a pendulum kind of um back and forth back and forth and he, he like hypnotized and it, it was a wonderful uh, it was a wonderful time we went in and reenacted he got a ship wheel on the wall we reenacted the sinking and everything he's even got the uh, telegraph with the motors where you can ching 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 and uh close the dampers uh the bulkheads the whole whole thing anyway uh she uh ate, ate a couple of potatoes and uh she don't eat crawfish. I ate a couple of potatoes and I take a piece of uh, corn and passed out in the, in the chair. Well, she was sleeping so good, we went ahead and spent the night. Me and her cousin sat there talked. She said, I want you to go to church with us tomorrow. And uh, we woke up, got ready for church, uh, got about halfway there, and Marcia says, I, I just can't do it turn around, called her, she was right in front of us, called her, let her know what was going on. We went back to her house, picked up the puppies, uh, uh, Titus and Scarlet, and uh, come home. Marcia's got um, like ADHD or whatever she doesn't sleep long and she's always busy uh, doing something but sh she just slept and uh, not being able to uh, talk to her or whatever the, I just sat in there and watch Anthony Bourdain uh, I'm, I'm kind of like that I do something I'm familiar with and just do a repetitive thing and um, smoke So, uh, Monday, her dad was freaked out, of course, and his dad would be, and we went over to his house and, and spent the day with him. Got to the pharmacy, got her, her medicines all uh, filled up, and then uh, came back to the house, and she went to sleep again. Uh, after sitting out in the yard and doing their grounding, the, the neighbor's kids come by. They knew something was going on. And uh, had a yard full of kids. I gave them all a cookie. But uh, I really wasn't feeling having people around, but I could see he was doing her good. Uh, 
Tuesday, went back to the doctor for the follow-up and see him what the EEG said. And um, she gave her some more medicine and now she has to take her blood pressure and something else uh, three times in the morning. Uh, like put her little cuff thing. I, I don't know about her blood sugar. She's got that little thing where you can prick the finger and do the little uh, thing, but I don't think that's required because she didn't have high, high blood pressure, uh, low sugar, or anything. She was good. We donate plasma on a, a regular basis. Uh, really good friends with the, everybody up there at the uh, plasma center and everybody was asking about her whenever I come in and I just said she wasn't feeling it. And the first day I said she's visiting family and did they're going to do a crawfish pool. I, I didn't want to let anybody know because I, I really don't um, talk about the bad stuff but sometimes you uh, it, it can't always be good you, you know when you got to deal with the real I was supposed to leave uh, that next day. Well, I was gonna leave that night after we did our laundry, um, get us some groceries, and we had a, um, my nephew had a, a catfish uh, thing on Lake Conroe uh, booked for us. It'd just be me and him and uh, my nephew. He took his other uh, workers that morning. Uh, they slayed him. They, they got some pictures of some whoppers. I mean, it would have been, uh, it'd have been something. And he said, okay, Kevin, don't worry. I got you some bags full. And here's the pictures, send me pictures, you know, uh, their, uh, their fish. And uh, a good time. I didn't want to say anything like what the, what the, uh, the uh, pipe show going on and everybody that was wonderful to see I've got just uh, uh, I don't know about an hour at the plasma place where I have uh, internet where I can look on my feed I, I, I can look on Marsha Marsha's got a, a, a cell phone My, my sister had posted on uh, Facebook uh, I, some things um, I, I don't know uh, whether it's guarded or it, it isn't like I'm trying to hide anything I just don't I, I'm not able to uh, it's funny I can share my feelings and stuff about my tobacco and what's going on in, in the good part of my life but the rough part of my life, I kind of keep it inside and keep it to myself. There's so much going on, but we set out today. Uh, I mowed the whole yard. I picked up all the trash. I got the fire going. She's in bed. We sit out there in the sun and just talk. I've noticed it's second grade. And she ain't the same right now. But she's beautiful and um, I request your prayers, good thoughts, whatever. Uh, she's got a YouTube channel, but she don't post nothing. She just like looks at all the good things in life and energy grounding and gems and stuff. She's she's different that way. One of the most loving and caring people I've ever met in my life. Proud, proud to be her husband. I, I got a wonderful wife. Burley Flakes, uh, burning great, James. Yorkshire Posse, and a GW, always with me. I, I, I've got some wonderful friends, wonderful friends that uh, mean the world to me. That. Uh, 
that's kept me a, a, a floating tough time. Um, all around the world. As far as Tasmania, too. Uh, XJ 90X. Simon, as you know him, I call him Jed. Uh, he was, uh, he tried to send flowers that wouldn't go through. I, I don't know, the whole place, uh, the whole place is kind of, they was wonderful, the very attentive, but there was a, you could tell there's a change of guard or something going on there. Well, uh, he couldn't get the flowers through, but he sent her pictures of stuff around the house, him and Marie. Uh, thank you very much, Jed and Marie. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful friend. Name the world to me. For everybody that said hello, uh, sent, sent prayers or whatever, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Name the world to me. I got a lot of sun today, feel, feel kind of sun dirt and run down. I didn't want this to be uh, somber in any way, though I, as you can tell, I am. Uh, uh, things have just been weird all around. Uh, things fell through, uh, plans got shifted and put back but uh, we'll be okay we have God on our side um, very thankful very thankful for our friends uh, and and those that, that are getting frustrated don't give up I ain't, I ain't that type of man you know I gave you my word some things happen that's out of my control and I can't do nothing about it just like I can't do nothing about this but don't lose heart. Believe in God and believe things is gonna be uh, be all right. Jeff Greenberg, Jeff the Chef, um, Jesse Sasquatch Piper, I think two now. I know them. Um, have just lost their wives recently and. I'm, I was um, I wasn't want to stir up any feelings, but guess what, guys? Uh, Y'all my friends, dear friends, and uh, I figured you should know what was going on. My family just been there for me, helped out. Uh, it was so, 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 everything cost so much, which everybody knows, and it's kind of overwhelming. And uh, uh, this pearly flake, number three. Oh, Yorkshire Posse. One of the dearest friends I could ever hope for. show you the fires burning down. And um I'm at my I'm at my uh last bit on the on this top.
when you need a nick hit and you want some good burly rumbling around with that hen of freak about a quarter in this mixture you know you can feel it you can taste that you, something you want to sip on but you can uh, chew it get powered up and then uh, back off of it I made some uh, chicken and um, I put after I, I, I skillet fried them deboned it put some uh, cream of chicken in the pan a uh, big bag of frozen broccoli I already cut up and then I, I did some pasta with some uh, spaghetti noodles mixed it all together and uh, that's what we're eating on tonight I made it yesterday she had a little bowl but she, she ain't eating right and Been uh, playing Fantasy Star on the Sega Genesis with the Power Base Converter. It's a Master System game. Um, it's an RPG. You go in the mazes and stuff, and it takes my mind off stuff. Been very therapeutic. I love the game anyway, really cool characters and uh, not uh, no stress like the, even if I don't want to go do something I can just go look around and uh, build up my my magic and my hit points and stuff. It's a good, uh, we call it grinding in the gaming world. Just do some grinding, get some better gear weapons and uh, upgrade your armor and shield uh, other than that I, I just putting in work son just trying to keep busy keep my mind off stuff I love y'all all um, this is Cass might as well uh, work out the OMS bust it off Cheech and with him. I won this from Old Berg uh, and uh, Slam sent me some stickers and everything. Just you know, uh, whenever like the the pipes that I've won. That people's give me in the community means the world to me. It means more than gold. Thank y'all all for everything that you've ever done for me. And uh, I'll holler at you later. Uh, sorry if this was uh, morbid or stressful anyway. It wasn't meant to be it was meant to be uh, me talking to my friends and letting y'all know I love each and every one of you and I thank you um, peace out and take